This is lesson four, making proteins. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe the organelles in the cell that are involved with making proteins, and also describe the first stage of protein synthesis. You have seen how the genetic code works by controlling when and how proteins are made in a cell. This process is called protein synthesis. Proteins are assembled from amino acids in the cytoplasm at structures called ribosomes. Ribosomes are a type of organelle. An organelle is the name of any type of a cell with a specific function. To make proteins, two things must happen. The instructions from the code must be carried from the DNA in the nucleus to the ribosomes. Amino acids must be brought to the ribosomes to be built up into a protein. Both of these stages are carried out by a chemical called RNA, ribonucleic acid. RNA has a similar structure to DNA, but the RNA molecule is a single strand. Like DNA, RNA has a sequence of bases on it, but the DNA base thymine, T, is replaced in RNA by a base called uracil. U. One sort of RNA carries the code out to the ribosomes. This is called messenger RNA or mRNA. A different sort brings the amino acids to the ribosomes and reads the code for making a protein. The process of copying the DNA code to form mRNA is called transcription. The DNA acts as a template for forming mRNA and eventually the protein. A template is a pattern, a bit like a stencil, that can be used over and over again to produce the same structure every time. The code in part of the DNA produces a similar code in an mRNA molecule. This molecule then leaves the nucleus to assemble a protein at the ribosome. Transcription starts when the DNA double helix unwinds and unzips, exposing the bases of the coding strand. An mRNA molecule then forms next to the DNA. Remember that in the DNA, the bases are paired. A pairs with T and C pairs with G. The mRNA bases match up with the bases in the DNA in the same way. However, because there is no T in RNA, the A in the DNA pairs with U in the mRNA. Study this example carefully. When the mRNA has been made, it breaks away from the DNA and leaves the nucleus through a nuclear pore. The DNA molecule then zips up again. It can be used at a later time if more of the protein needs to be made. 